So these are the little stand behind things. I looked these things up online. <laughs> First, I want to know how much they weigh. Each one weighs about 3,500. So there's there's 14,000 pounds just in those four right there. I was worried about my weight, but I'm okay. But uh, these little things cost about $45,000 each. All right, good morning. It's Thursday morning. We're on I-35, right at the state line of Oklahoma to Kansas. Here, hang on. I don't know if you can read it on the pole there, but uh, K-A-W, Caw Nation, I think. We're at an Indian casino. It's not a bad little truck stop. We had a long day yesterday. We drove 606 miles. We got 100 miles up to deliver our stuff. And then from there, we got about 120 miles over to Kansas City pick up a reload going to Indiana that's gonna be our weekend load so we've had a busy week we've uh, really been in the groove here the last couple of weeks just happened to be at the right place at the right time to get the right loads I did buy some fuel here they had a good price on fuel I think I talked about it either yesterday or day before so somebody talked about the IPTA tax on fuel Mercer pays that but we got a hundred miles North toward US 177 North. To Peabody, Kansas. 200 feet, turn left. And we're actually going to the same north. spot that we delivered. I think it was before Christmas. We uh, delivered the big poles. Take big the power left poles. Of US 177 North. Then turn right on the I-35 North Trail. It's cold. Compared to Louisiana. Turn got down to 22 last night the night before which would have been Tuesday night Tuesday night is that right Wednesday night it was uh, I had air conditioner on I slept with air conditioner on down in Louisiana I do like it up here in the Midwest pretty sunrise State line for Kansas should be right up here in just a little bit. And then from there we got about a hundred miles. Oh, somebody got in trouble early this morning.
close to where we need to be. They're uh, building a, uh, looks like they're building a windmill farm out here. I think we're just bringing the power poles for the transmission lines if I had to guess. We just got loaded over here in Egerton, Kansas at Kubota. We were parked right there. What I got out of the way, come down here. So we got some new stuff. I've never hauled these things before. These little stand behind skid steer things. So uh, I asked him how to secure them. He said run a strap through here. So I'm gonna put two of them together. So I'll secure two together. This stuff back here is pretty easy. Put a chain right there. Put a chain right there. Strap over this. Strap over that. Chain right there. So stuff pretty easy right here. It's just time consuming. Here we're not in the sun over here looking into the sun uh, we got to put a strap over the bucket right there so on the back side here these little things flip up and he said to take the chain and run it up through here come across and then back down and do the same thing and we're gonna take two of them hook them together now because it's going to be so hard to get a ratchet binder right here. I'm going to take the chain and hook the chain up to a uh, strap with a chain on the end of it. So that's how we're going to do that once I get it done. But these are a little stand behind things. I looked these things up online. First, I want to know how much they weigh. Each one weighs about 3,500. So there's, there's 14,000 pounds just in those four right there. I was worried about my weight. But I'm okay. But uh, these little things cost about forty-five thousand dollars each. That's just for those little things. All right, let's uh, let's get this going. 
all right this is what we got so I got one chain hooked up here through the hole here through the hole in this one this is a strap with chain on it coming down same thing chains hooked up now this counts as two pieces of securement there's no tension on this part of the chain right here so this counts as another piece of securement so same thing got it coming up there come down down to there we've got the buckets so the next piece is this thing and that thing right there so I got all my not all but what I need ratchet binders sprayed them down some WD-40 already I haven't used them in a while they're a little rusty and then over here we got our straps right here so the strap the strap here is actually going down underneath the cylinder if you can see it goes underneath the cylinder come back down same thing here come back down and then our buckets so that worked out pretty good i think they'll ride pretty good like that all right we're making some progress um i did one thing i moved this strap and i weaved it up under these are metal bands holding these uh, buckets on i was a little nervous strapping over that top two by four that way i got three two by fours i can pull down on so i feel a little better about that strap over the bucket you see how i got a chain there so one hook of the chain is hooked there the excess goes under the exact same thing on the other side we got our j hooks on our dorsey trailer and then back here one chain looped around binder on the back so that's not going anywhere and then we got a strap over the buckets next thing is these things right here now we do not put a strap over the top so i'm going to get a strap and weave it over the racks figure something out here i'm just looking anyway i'll get it up there and then we got this one piece back here to do all right we finished strapping do this before i get too cold i don't have my jacket on so I'll explain how I got the chain through those. Those look good. I told you I rerouted that one strap right there. Got a strap on the bucket. Skid steers chain down. Strap over the bucket there. So what I did back here is I went ahead and I put one four inch across the top. And I got it snugged up. And then I got this two inch right here. And I took it and I weaved it down through there so that will hold that top crate there's two separate crates so that's holding that top crate down too but that's good and tight back here let me flip this this way um back here I got the chain back here now back here I uh I was so close I didn't have to use a chain I just used a binder from the J-hook up to there. So same thing on this side over here. So that worked out pretty good. I didn't have to use a chain. So we got three stops. Let's see if I can remember what goes where. Uh, I believe that one piece is the first stop. And then all of this stuff here up to this skid steer plus that bucket is the second stop and then all of this stuff here is a third stop so that's what we got all right so from here we're gonna see how bad the traffic is through Kansas City and uh, figure out where we're gonna camp out all right we're done for the day oh we might be done for the week too oh we got about from right here about 600 no nah, about 500 miles to deliver 
but this is set up to deliver on Monday. All stops are they're really close to each other, so we shouldn't have a problem. Oh man. So today is Thursday. Last weekend we hung out at Walmart in Vandalia. We went to uh, Lee Summit, Missouri, Independence, Louisiana. Reloaded out of Covenant, Covenant, Indi uh, Louisiana. Delivered Kansas this morning, and reloaded out of Kansas City. And now we're going to Indiana. So we had a busy week. A good week. Oh, but that's it. I did have a thought because I was watching the strap in the back back there. On the one I that one strap I put all the way across the top. Instead of going all the way across, I think I might change it and go up one side and down the same side uh, and do that on each side. So, but if I do do that, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm tired and cold and hungry. Bailey's hungry. But we're over here in Concordia at the TA. <laughs> I finally ended up over here. And uh, it's about 5 o'clock. There's nobody here. We got all the parking. But I want to see about doing laundry. So I'm going to go check out their uh, laundry facilities. Let's see if I can get a load of laundry done. All right. We'll call it quits. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you need trailer parts, check out DorseySemiTrailerParts.com. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.